Having covered the rib bones in the previous video, we now move on to articulating the coracoid, scapula, and the clavicle bone. I'll demonstrate the articulation process using the coracoid and scapula of the right side. This area on the scapula will fit onto this area in the coracoid. It's simple as that. Do the same with the left coracoid and scapula. On the sternum, there are two grooves in the front. These will house one end of the left and right coracoids like so. Glue the coracoids onto these two grooves in such a way that the scapula lies on top of the thoracic ribs. Here's a top view of the thorax showing the position of the scapula on both sides. We now move on to the clavicle bone. This is a V-shaped structure with a bilaterally flattened rounded end called the inner clavicle. This flattened end protrudes slightly on one side and less at the other side. The protruded end will face the back side, that is towards the thorax, and the less protruded end will face the front of the body. Following this pattern, glue the clavicle onto the acrocoracoid process of the left and the right coracoids like so. This is the articulated coracoid and scapula of chicken. In the next video, whose link you'll find in the description below, we'll be covering the articulation of the bones of the legs. Make sure to check that out too. Thanks for watching.